I'm Archie Luxury and welcome to the program. The 10 greatest watches of all time. Who would I have known that this video would rate so highly? Over 600,000 views and going strong. And uh, it's a great video. It's a great video. And, uh, you know, this was, this was the Archie Luxury role of success. And uh, it's been very, very pleasing. And I don't know if you noticed the small mistake I made. I was actually, I, I wasn't, I was filming this without notes. And I left one watch out completely. I left out the reverso. <laughs> I left out the reverso. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a mistake. But hey, if the ratings are this good, you can't touch it. So uh, the Jager La Culture reverso was the watch I left out. Very, very hilarious. And... Please enjoy this, this look at Archie's finest moments. Today I want to talk about the 10 greatest watches of all time. Now this is a list that I've put together after much thought and debate. And these are 10 watches I think are the ultimate watches to have. Now we'll start at the, the bottom and work our way up to number 1. So the in 10th place I would have to say one of the most iconic watches is the Lange 1. Now this was a watch which is made by the Lange, A. Lange and Son company and um, Hitler was a, uh, a great fan of Lange and uh, I believe he gave a Lange pocket watch to his personal physician and um, it's a very strong German brand um, certainly um, um, Certainly a very, very strong following. Um, the Lang A1 itself there is, is, is remarkable because after World War II, the Lang A factory was actually in the, the East German side. So it didn't actually get um, much coverage after the Communists came in. And uh, with the fall of the Berlin War, Lang A reappeared again. It reinvented itself. And... Um, Lange itself is a fantastic brand, and uh, the Lange one is just, just so 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 um, different to all the the Swiss watches on offer there. So it's certainly very very um, appealing. In ninth spot, we've got the Royal Oak, which is a Audemars Piaget watch. The Royal Oak was very famous because it was designed by Gerald Gentra, released in 1972. And it's the first luxury watch which makes steel a luxury metal to make a, uh, a watch out of. And uh, the, the Royal Oak itself comes from the, the, the Audemars Piaget family. That's a famous, famous brand. One of the, the top three makers with Patek, Breguet uh, and Vacheron Concertine. So the, 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 the Royal Oak is just an absolute classic and... Um, um, I'm, I'm more of a fan of the traditional Royal Oak, not really a big fan of these chronometers that they've released with the rubber straps and all these other modern things there. I think the traditional Royal Oak is, is, is a beautiful, beautiful watch indeed there. Number seven, okay, would have to go to the Cartier Santos. The Cartier Santos, it was released in the, um, the late 70s, came out in 1978, and uh, it was when Cartier... Uh, they actually also uh, followed um, the Royal Oak by making steel a luxury metal. And um, the Cartier Santos itself has a, a history which was uh, it's named after the famous aviator who, um, who was said to have been why, Car why Cartier invented the wristwatch, uh, the Brazilian aviator. Uh, that was Alberto Santo Dumont. And um, that they they basically reinvigorated the watch when they released the Santos in 1978, and it, it also broke another watchmaking rule where it exposed the screws. Traditional watchmaking always hid the screws, whereas the Santos uh, accented the screws, and it, it's certainly a revolutionary watch, and uh, I think a great great classic. Number six. 
in the the lineup there is another Cartier so so Cartier's certainly a very very well regarded brand and that's the Louis Cartier tank this is the 18 karat gold tank and um, designed after a World War One Renault tank um, absolute magic watch it it, it uh, there's there's Jackie O made the the Cartier tank famous um, it's just the most beautiful piece um, just the design wise so ahead of its time um, and and Cartier has had many incarnations of the the tank itself they've had the the basculant they've had the Americana they've had so many different versions and, and the tank is still very very popular and um, Cartier also had the musty Cartier range where they released the tank that's with the the gold plated case which was solid silver with gold plating on if you're going to get one uh, try and get the solid gold one it, it, it's a much um, it's, a, it's a more luxurious metal number five now we're getting very very close to the top here and this is one of my all-time favorite sports watches and it's the Breitling Navi timer the Breitling Navi timer is revolutionary in the sense that before the big fad was for large watches Breitling was making large watches and um, so it, 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 it certainly that you could sit well and truly say that Breitling had big watches for a long time fantastic dials uh, again Breitling's a company which has got a, a great aviation uh, following a lot of um, pilots use these watches and um, the Breitling Navi timer is an all-time classic chronograph and um, I think you'd, you'd have to give the Breitling credit it's it's a magnificent magnificent piece there okay we're coming down to the final countdown number four position <coughs> well could it be anything else except the Amiga Speedmaster professional that's right the man on the moon watch this was a um, very very famous watch because it was the watch that went on the um, the moon mission and um, the Amiga Speedmaster itself there is a chronograph it's a mechanical watch um, the it uses either a 3 to one movement that's in the original Speedmaster which is uh, that's probably the best movement to have in the Speedmaster and the the next movement is a, is an 861 movement and um, I think bang per buck in this day and age it's probably the best value sports watch available today there is is nothing that compares to it if you want to watch with history you want to watch with a fa famous Swiss brand an iconic sports piece and a large watch to boot the Speedmaster is the one to have and the price of a used Speedmaster professional um, you're going to pick a good one up for just over the two thousand dollar mark which is excellent buying what else can you buy for two to two and a half thousand that is so iconic and also a chronograph and um, I, I think the Amiga Speedmaster is a fantastic watch I've just added one to my collection that's how strongly I felt about the the watch itself there I think it's very undervalued and Amiga is a fantastic brand okay number three position number three it has to go to the Rolex Submariner the Rolex Submariner is the iconic sports Rolex to have most of the the Rolexes are oysters the Rolex does have the Cellini line but the date just the day dates they're all part of the oyster family and the the ultimate oyster is the Submariner and the Sea Dweller and uh, the Submariner is probably the most wanted sports watch uh, in the world there probably one of the most popular watches there uh, the Daytona uh, is another one which is very very uh, sought after but I think the the Submariner just pips the Daytona and um, you can certainly see why probably the the ultimate watch to have for for any person who's interested in sports and um, very very simple design but just just wonderfully constructed and um, built to last and uh, the vintage Submariners are proving to be very good investments indeed and um, you certainly can't go wrong with a Rolex Submariner in your collection 
Okay, we're moving up to the top now. What is in second spot? Well, it's the Rolex Datejust. Now, the Rolex Datejust is probably Rolex Rolex's number one selling watch. The Datejust has been around for a long time, and unfortunately, if it was any other brand that had the Datejust, it would be out there guns blazing. The only reason it's a little bit neglected is because the Rolex sports watches have taken over its fame but the date just itself people say it's a dress watch but it's waterproof it's got a chronometer grade movement it's um, certainly very very sporty uh, and and uh, I think you've got to give the date just credit where it's due one of the the most versatile watches um, known to man it's a watch you can wear for all occasions uh, sports formal and dress wear and also casual it's 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 a I think probably the best value for money Rolex on the market today the date just and uh, because the submariners and the GMT's have been so strong price wise the Rolex date just actually represent very good buying on the second hand market so Rolex date just is number two okay so what is the number one the number one watch in the world the ultimate winner of the 10 greatest watches of all time. Wow. Could it be anyone else except the Patek Philippe Calatrava? The Patek Philippe Calatrava, it's a name which is the Rolls Royce of watches. The Calatrava is a classic dress watch. It's just absolutely superb, handcrafted, handmade, and just just a fantastic watch, which to many people is the holy grail of watches. Sure, Patek Philippe is famous for its complications, but when it comes down to a simple, beautiful, gorgeous piece just to wear proudly, nothing but the Calatrava uh, scores as high. And uh, I, th I think anyone who has a Calatrava or who, ha who has had a Calatrava will comment what a wonderfully made watch it is. And uh, I must say, I I've got had a watchmaker for many years and I've taken all sorts of Rolex sports watches to him, 5513 subs, 5512s, 1680s, uh, all sorts of 1016 explorers to him. The only thing that really impressed him and knocked his socks off was when I brought in a Patek Calatrava 3919. And he said, wow, that is a well-made watch. And um, I now have a Patek 5107, I think the ultimate Calatrava in the ultimate choice of metals which is white gold uh, obviously platinum may edge that out but I, I personally like the white dial better and uh, I think the Patek Philippe Calatrava it's a watch to have when you've had many great watches it's the watch you have not to show off not to to big note yourself it's the watch you know is the best watch in the world and uh, therefore it's the ultimate winner of the 10 greatest watches of all time. I hope you've enjoyed this clip and please come to my free reference library website www.luxurytolast.com and uh, heaps of reviews, heaps of information, all free of charge and uh, please drop me an email or, or post a comment on, on this video here. Thanks very much. Yeah, I think that was a great video. You notice I left out the Jaguar Culture Reverso. What a fuck up! But uh, hey, what can you do? It's rating well. You don't pull the vid. You just, just let it go. I'm Archie Luxury. I hope you've enjoyed this look at some of Archie's finest videos.